Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Continuing on with Factorio here. And in this episode I'm gonna try to get green get the green beakers uh working here. And those are called Science Pack 2. Seems like they need an inserter and a transport belt. So I'm gonna try to just build inserters and transport belts kind of independently first just to get those going. We got a whole bunch of green research here queued up. I'm going to cancel that I think. So for that we're going to need let's see, use an assembling machine too. Let's make a few of those. I was going to uh, use a console command to make it daytime all the time so it would be easier for you guys to see but that disables achievements so I'm just gonna leave it let me know if you want me to turn it perpetually day so it's easier to see and I'll do it so let's plunk one of these down probably won't be the permanent spot but and yeah, we need some power That first thing we needed was, let's see here, an inserter, which itself needs an electric circuit, iron gear wheel, iron plate. <laughs> Circuits made out of iron plates and copper cable, and copper cables made out of copper plate. Oh wow, this is going to be complicated to build. Let's start with the, let's work our way backwards. So. Let's do just inserters. Let's manu manually make a bunch of circuits. And stick them in a box. Let's put a box down here. And put an inserter down. And then we'll put our circuits in there. And it also needs iron gear wheels and iron plates. I think iron gear wheels... We could probably make those independently. Put that down here. If we move this up slightly, we could uh, make it past the gear wheels directly into this thing. Let's try that. So gear wheels and we'll move this over. For now we'll put some plates in here and we'll put an inserter right here. Metal feed plates in and that'll make gears and then we'll put in another inserter there we go so plates into here gears into here and this also needs plates so let's put a inserter there with some power there, oh, there we go it's got plates And then we need to stick them in a box temporarily. Okay. Part of the way there. <laughs> so we need to feed plates directly to this arm. And we need to make circuits. Circuits, circuits need plates and copper cable. So let's make copper cable. I know there's an optimal way to do this and people have almost certainly set it up. I'm just kind of working my way through it here. Now copper plate, huh? do we have that building anywhere? I don't think so. We have... Where is our copper? Up here. Oh no, we're making plate.
very slowly. We should expand this. Let's make another few electric drills here. Electric mining drill. Let's do a couple. Let's do three of those. Let's get these trees out of the way. Let's build a couple more. I should have spaced this out better. Okay. Let's go load that copper plate for now. That one's got plenty. I'm sure that one has a lot too. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. We need it down here. So we'll put a storage box down here. Fill it with copper plate. Let's take one back in case we need it. And we need an inserter. There we go. So that'll make copper wire. And then we gotta dump the copper wire. So what do circuits need? Wire and iron plate. Okay, let's uh, send the wire into another thingamajig here. Probably should have put this over here. But we can move things around once we kind of get it half working. So inserter. Put the wire in here. And this will make circuits which need iron plates and copper wire. I really should have looked this up on the internet first to see like, I'm sure there's a blueprint that does just this, but I wanted to kind of try it for myself. So box, put some iron plate in there, inserter. Okay, this will make circuits. And ideally we'd put the circuits over in here, I think. Yeah. So we move this up here and have this pass over to here. I think that would work. So we'll move this, some stuff around here. Move that and that over here. So gears are going in there, iron plates going in there, and then circuits. So there we go. We got iron plates going in here to make gears. Okay, let's start here. Inserters need circuits, gears, and iron plate. So the circuits are coming from here. Sorry, gears are coming from here, circuits are coming from here, and iron plates coming from here. And then circuits need copper wire and iron plate, so the iron plate comes from here. And the copper wire comes from here, which comes from copper plates. Now ideally we'd have a conveyor belt with iron plate around the outside here to feed all this. Oh, it's making in inserters. But that's just part of the thing. We need, for green research, we need inserters and transport belts. So if this could load into another one of these things and then over here insert and belts may get made and tossed in. Kind of gonna be gonna be out of room here though. And instead of putting it in this box, I'm gonna move it over. Into here. And this will be our green research. Let's put half of them in there. And we need transport pelts. Let's do yet another box of iron plates here, which we can replace later. Stick that full of iron plates. Put an inserter. And we want the gears to go into a transport belt maker. 
Okay, this is a very crude setup, but I think it's working. So my recording software kind of cut out, so I've been, I didn't realize it, so I've been talking to myself for the last at least 30 minutes. So I kind of finished off this green research area here. I can kind of talk you through it here. So green research needs belts and inserters. So we're making belts here, and belts need gears and plates. So we're grabbing plates off this uh, off this belt here, and we're grabbing plates here to make gears, and we're feeding gears into here. And then the completed belts we're putting on this little belt here, which feeds into this unit here that makes the green research. And then over here, we're making gears, so plates into here makes gears. And then we're manually putting copper in this box here. So copper goes in here, we make wire, and wire goes in here, along with plates from here to make circuits. Circuits <laughs> go in here with gears, so circuits. Sorry. We're making inserters in here, which require circuits, gears, and plates. So the gears come from here, circuits come from here, and the plates I'm just manually inserting from this box. So it all comes together, and we get green research, which goes in a box here, just for a buffer, and then completed ones go in this tiny belt here, and feed into our circle. And we've got inserters which feed these four research stations. I've also been making green research kind of in my pocket, and then filling this box whenever I can, to speed things up. So we're not we're not at full capacity here with the research. But while I wasn't recording, I unlocked a whole bunch of things. So I'll kind of take you through it. We unlocked uh, oil processing, which allows you to make pump checks and pump oil. I'm assuming we'll try that next episode. The advanced material processing, which let us make steel furnaces, which we put a bunch of around. Uh, landfill, which lets us fill in water. Military 2, which is unlocks this military science pack, which we need for other things, plus grenades and piercing rounds. Fluid handling. Automation 2. Some science ones we unlocked, but they're not showing up here. Why not? There was a lab research 1 and 2 that we unlocked, which speeds up research, but they're not showing up as completed here. So we extended uh, off camera, or well, I was not recording. I put more electric mining drills here because we were getting. We didn't have enough supply of iron ore. And I also extended these furnaces here. Just realized these two are... Because this is bottlenecked, these two aren't running. Yeah, this is backing up. We're not consuming iron plates fast enough. In fact, we're putting the excess over here in this box. Steel chest. So we made a few green research in our pocket. Let's put those in there. So that you can see them in action here. That'll go in the circle. Eventually it'll get around here and go in here and here. Here it comes. It should pick it up and stick it in here. Yep. And then this other one should go in here once it gets to here. So now we got all four running. So research will go a bit faster. And at the moment, we're researching engines. We still have some places where we're, we're manually putting stuff in boxes. 
but it's not. Oh, we're done. Engines, okay. What should we do next? Let's do gun turret. Oh, can we do this one? Yeah, gun turret damage. We haven't been attacked yet. Uh, oh, and I have the steel furnace I added to make steel. So it's picking up the iron plates. And this long arm inserter is putting it on this conveyor belt, which is dumping it in this box. We should replace this with a steel chest. So steel chests hold way more, 48 slots. I should probably move my steel production over here. And as you'll notice, we're producing a ton of pollution now. I put a uh, turret down here in the back corner, just in case we get attacked, because there's some red... If you look at the map, there's some red over here, which I think are enemies. So they could attack from basically any direction. So we eventually want to build a wall around this whole thing. But for now, I just have a wall here, and a wall up here kind of guarding this flank and a wall way up here so I should seal this all in but we may want to move our my uh, iron ore production up here because there's way more iron ore here it's like almost 20 times the amount in this tiny pile And now that we can make pump jacks, next episode I'll try to get into this oil here, or maybe the oil over here. See what that's all about. I think I also improved this off camera. Similar setup where feeding coal in, and the copper ore is going to the furnaces, and the copper plates are coming out, and they're going in this box. And it, we have more than enough coal, we're just kind of backing up. Oh, the other thing I might have done is extended these um, steam engines. We had to put some pipe underground so that we could get all the power lines in. And I realized you can click on this, you can click on the power poles to get electric ne network info. So we can see that we're, I think, in balance. I don't know what satisfaction means, but... Or you can click on a steam engine, or hover over it, and see that it's not performing at optimal yet. Later on there's solar panels you can unlock, but they only work during the day. So I'm assuming there might be some kind of batteries that we can use. Oh, battery equipment. Well, that's for armor. Oh, here's battery. So maybe with batteries we can use solar during the day and store it in batteries for nighttime. So I'm still learning and but I'm pretty happy with the way this is going. It's still pretty fun. Actually it's really fun. <laughs> Not just pretty fun. So I hope you're enjoying these. Um, hit that subscribe button if you want to get alerted on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.